Switzerland. Switzerland, officially the Swiss Confederation, is a country situated in the confluence of Western, Central, and Southern Europe. It is a federal republic composed of 26 cantons, with federal authorities seated in Bern. Switzerland is a landlocked country bordered by Italy to the south, France to the west, Germany to the north, and Austria and Liechtenstein to the east. It is geographically divided among the Swiss Plateau, the Alps, and the Jura, spanning a total area of 41,285 square kilometers (15,940 square miles) and a land area of 39,997 square kilometers (15,443 square miles). While the Alps occupy the greater part of the territory, the Swiss population of approximately 8.5 million is concentrated mostly on the plateau, where the largest cities are located, among them the two global cities and economic centers of Zurich and Geneva. The establishment of the Old Swiss Confederacy dates to the late medieval period, resulting from a series of military successes against Austria and Burgundy. Swiss independence from the Holy Roman Empire was formally recognized in the Peace of Westphalia in 1648. The Federal Charter of 1291 is considered the founding document of Switzerland which is celebrated on Swiss National Day. Since the Reformation of the 16th century, Switzerland has maintained a strong policy of armed neutrality, it has not fought an international war since 1815 and did not join the United Nations until 2002. Nevertheless, it pursues an active foreign policy and is frequently involved in peace-building processes around the world. Switzerland is the birthplace of the Red Cross, one of the world's oldest and best-known humanitarian organizations, and is home to numerous international organizations, including the second-largest UN office. It is a founding member of the European Free Trade Association, but notably not part of the European Union, the European Economic Area or the Eurozone. However, it participates in the Schengen area and the European single market through bilateral treaties. Switzerland occupies the crossroads of Germanic and Romance Europe, as reflected in its four main linguistic and cultural regions, German, French, Italian, and Romance. Although the majority of the population are German-speaking, Swiss national identity is rooted in a common historical background, shared values such as federalism and direct democracy, and Alpine symbolism. Due to its linguistic diversity, Switzerland is known by a variety of native names, Schweiz, German, Suisse, French, Svizzera, Italian, and Svizzera, Romance. On coins and stamps, the Latin name, Confederatio Helvetica, frequently shortened to, Helvetia, is used instead of the four national languages. The sovereign state is one of the most developed countries in the world, with the highest nominal wealth per adult and the eighth highest per capita gross domestic product. It ranks at or near the top in several international metrics, including economic competitiveness and human development. Zurich, Geneva, and Basel have been ranked among the top 10 cities in the world in terms of quality of life, with Zurich ranked second globally. In 2019, IMD placed Switzerland first in the world in attracting skilled workers. World Economic Forum ranks it the fifth most competitive country globally. Etymology. The English name Switzerland is a compound containing Switzer, an obsolete term for the Swiss, which was in use during the 16th to 19th centuries. The English adjective Swiss is a loan from French Suisse, also in use since the 16th century. The name Switzer is from the Alemannic Schweitzer, in origin an inhabitant of Schwiz and its associated territory, one of the Wallstatten cantons which formed the nucleus of the old Swiss Confederacy. The Swiss began to adopt the name for themselves after the Swabian War of 1499, used alongside the term for Confederates, Eigenossen, literally, comrades by oath, used since the 14th century. The data code for Switzerland, ch, is derived from Latin Confederatio Helvetica, English, Helvetic Confederation. The toponym Schwiz itself was first attested in 972, as Old High German suits, ultimately perhaps related to Sweden, to Bern, cf, Old Norse Svea, to Singe, Bern, referring to the area of forest that was burned and cleared to build. The name was extended to the area dominated by the canton, and after the Swabian War of 1499 gradually came to be used for the entire confederation. The Swiss-German name of the country, Schweiz, is homophonous to that of the canton and the settlement, but distinguished by the use of the definite article, de Suisse for the confederation, but simply Schwiz for the canton and the town. 
The Latin name Confederatio Helvetica was neologized and introduced gradually after the formation of the federal state in 1848, harking back to the Napoleonic Helvetic Republic, appearing on coins from 1879, inscribed on the Federal Palace in 1902 and after 1948 used in the official seal. For example, the ISO Banking Code CHF, for the Swiss franc, and the country top-level domain CH, are both taken from the state's Latin name. Helvetica is derived from the Helveti, a Gaulish tribe living on the Swiss plateau before the Roman era. Helvetia appears as a national personification of the Swiss Confederacy in the 17th century with a 1672 play by Johann Caspar Weisenbach. History of Switzerland Switzerland has existed as a state in its present form since the adoption of the Swiss Federal Constitution in 1848. The precursors of Switzerland established a protective alliance at the end of the 13th century 1291, forming a loose confederation of states which persisted for centuries. The Modern History of Switzerland Switzerland was not invaded during either of the World Wars. During World War I, Switzerland was home to Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov Vladimir Lenin, and he remained there until 1917. Swiss neutrality was seriously questioned by the Grimm Hoffmann affair in 1917, but it was short lived. In 1920, Switzerland joined the League of Nations, which was based in Geneva, on condition that it was exempt from any military requirements. During World War II, detailed invasion plans were drawn up by the Germans, but Switzerland was never attacked. Switzerland was able to remain independent through a combination of military deterrence, concessions to Germany, and good fortune as larger events during the war delayed an invasion. Under General Henri Guisson, appointed the commander-in-chief for the duration of the war, a general mobilization of the armed forces was ordered. The Swiss military strategy was changed from one of static defense at the borders to protect the economic heartland, to one of organized long-term attrition and withdrawal to strong, well-stockpiled positions high in the Alps known as the Radu. Switzerland was an important base for espionage by both sides in the conflict and often mediated communications between the Axis and Allied powers. Switzerland's trade was blockaded by both the Allies and by the Axis. Economic cooperation and extension of credit to the Third Reich varied according to the perceived likelihood of invasion and the availability of other trading partners. Concessions reached a peak after a crucial rail link through Vichy France was severed in 1942, leaving Switzerland, together with Liechtenstein, entirely isolated from the wider world by Axis-controlled territory. Over the course of the war, Switzerland interned over 300,000 refugees and the International Red Cross, based in Geneva, played an important part during the conflict. Strict immigration and asylum policies, as well as the financial relationships with Nazi Germany, raised controversy, but not until the end of the 20th century. During the war, the Swiss Air Force engaged aircraft of both sides, shooting down 11 intruding Luftwaffe planes in May and June 1940, then forcing down other intruders after a change of policy following threats from Germany. Over 100 Allied bombers and their crews were interned during the war. Between 1940 and 1945, Switzerland was bombed by the Allies causing fatalities and property damage. Among the cities and towns bombed were Basel, Brusio, Chiasso, Cornell, Geneva, Koblenz, Niederwinningen, Raffs, Renens, Samaden, Schaffhausen, Stein am Rhein, Tagerwillen, Thangen, Vals, and Zurich. Allied forces explained the bombings, which violated the 96th Article of War, resulted from navigation errors, equipment failure, weather conditions, and errors made by bomber pilots. The Swiss expressed fear and concern that the bombings were intended to put pressure on Switzerland to end economic cooperation and neutrality with Nazi Germany. Court-martial proceedings took place in England and the US government paid 62,176,433.06 in Swiss francs for reparations of the bombings. Switzerland's attitude towards refugees was complicated and controversial, over the course of the war, it admitted as many as 300,000 refugees while refusing tens of thousands more, including Jews who were severely persecuted by the Nazis. After the war, the Swiss government exported credits through the charitable fund known as the Schweizerspende and also donated to the Marshall Plan to help Europe's recovery, efforts which ultimately benefited the Swiss economy. During the Cold War, Swiss authorities considered the construction of a Swiss nuclear bomb. 
Leading nuclear physicists at the Federal Institute of Technology Zurich such as Paul Scherer made this a realistic possibility. In 1988, the Paul Scherer Institute was founded in his name to explore the therapeutic uses of neutron scattering technologies. Financial problems with the defense budget and ethical considerations prevented the substantial funds from being allocated, and the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty of 1968 was seen as a valid alternative. All remaining plans for building nuclear weapons were dropped by 1988. Switzerland was the last Western Republic to grant women the right to vote. Some Swiss cantons approved this in 1959, while at the federal level it was achieved in 1971 and, after resistance, in the last canton Appenzell in Eroden, one of only two remaining Landsgemeinde, along with Glarus, in 1990. After obtaining suffrage at the federal level, women quickly rose in political significance, with the first woman on the seven-member federal council executive being Elizabeth Kopp, who served from 1984 to 1989, and the first female president being Ruth Dreyfus in 1999. Switzerland joined the Council of Europe in 1963. In 1979 areas from the canton of Bern attained independence from the Bernese, forming the new canton of Jura. On 18 April 1999, the Swiss population and the cantons voted in favor of a completely revised federal constitution. In 2002 Switzerland became a full member of the United Nations, leaving the Vatican City as the last widely recognized state without full UN membership. Switzerland is a founding member of the EFTA but is not a member of the European Economic Area. An application for membership in the European Union was sent in May 1992, but not advanced since the EEA was rejected in December 1992 when Switzerland was the only country to launch a referendum on the EEA. There have since been several referendums on the EU issue, due to opposition from the citizens, the membership application has been withdrawn. Nonetheless, Swiss law is gradually being adjusted to conform with that of the EU, and the government has signed a number of bilateral agreements with the European Union. Switzerland, together with Liechtenstein, has been completely surrounded by the EU since Austria's entry in 1995. On 5 June 2005, Swiss voters agreed by a 55% majority to join the Schengen Treaty, a result that was regarded by EU commentators as a sign of support by Switzerland, a country that is traditionally perceived as independent and reluctant to enter supranational bodies. Climate of Switzerland The Swiss climate is generally temperate but can vary greatly between the localities, from glacial conditions on the mountaintops to the often pleasant near Mediterranean climate at Switzerland's southern tip. There are some valley areas in the southern part of Switzerland where some cold hardy palm trees are found. Summers tend to be warm and humid at times with periodic rainfall so they are ideal for pastures and grazing. The less humid winters in the mountains may see long intervals of stable conditions for weeks, while the lower lands tend to suffer from inversion, during these periods, thus seeing no sun for weeks. A weather phenomenon is known as the foon, with an identical effect to the Chinook wind, can occur at all times of the year and is characterized by an unexpectedly warm wind, bringing an air of very low relative humidity to the north of the Alps during rainfall periods on the southern face of the Alps. This works both ways across the Alps but is more efficient if blowing from the south due to the steeper step for oncoming wind from the south. Valleys running south to north trigger the best effect. The driest conditions persist in all inner alpine valleys that receive less rain because arriving clouds lose a lot of their content while crossing the mountains before reaching these areas. Large alpine areas such as Graubünden remain drier than pre-alpine areas and as in the main valley of the Valais wine grapes are grown there. The wettest conditions persist in the high Alps and in the Ticino canton which has much sun yet heavy bursts of rain from time to time. Precipitation tends to be spread moderately throughout the year with a peak in summer. Autumn is the driest season, winter receives less precipitation than summer, yet the weather patterns in Switzerland are not in a stable climate system and can be variable from year to year with no strict and predictable periods. The environment in Switzerland. Switzerland's ecosystems can be particularly fragile because the many delicate valleys separated by high mountains often form unique ecologies. The mountainous regions themselves are also vulnerable, with a rich range of plants not found at other altitudes, and experience some pressure from visitors in grazing. 
The climatic, geological and topographical conditions of the Alpine region make for a very fragile ecosystem that is particularly sensitive to climate change. Nevertheless, according to the 2014 Environmental Performance Index, Switzerland ranks first among 132 nations in safeguarding the environment, due to its high scores on environmental public health, its heavy reliance on renewable sources of energy, hydropower and geothermal energy, and its control of greenhouse gas emissions. However, access to biocapacity in Switzerland is far lower than the world average. In 2016, Switzerland had 1.0 global hectares of biocapacity per person within its territory, 40% less than the world average of 1.6 global hectares per person. In contrast, in 2016, they used 4.6 global hectares of biocapacity, their ecological footprint of consumption. This means they used about 4.6 times as much biocapacity as Switzerland contains. The remainder comes from imports and overusing the global commons, such as the atmosphere through greenhouse gas emissions. As a result, Switzerland is running a biocapacity deficit. Politics in Switzerland The federal constitution adopted in 1848 as the legal foundation of the modern federal state. A new Swiss constitution was adopted in 1999 but did not introduce notable changes to the federal structure. It outlines the basic and political rights of individuals and citizen participation in public affairs, divides the powers between the Confederation and the cantons and defines federal jurisdiction and authority. There are three main governing bodies on the federal level, the bicameral parliament, legislative, the federal council, executive, and the federal court, judicial. The federal constitution adopted in 1848 as the legal foundation of the modern federal state. A new Swiss constitution was adopted in 1999 but did not introduce notable changes to the federal structure. It outlines the basic and political rights of individuals and citizen participation in public affairs, divides the powers between the confederation and the cantons and defines federal jurisdiction and authority. There are three main governing bodies on the federal level, the bicameral parliament, legislative, the federal council, executive, and the federal court, judicial. The Swiss Parliament consists of two houses, the Council of States which has 46 representatives, two from each canton and one from each half canton, who are elected under a system determined by each canton, and the National Council, which consists of 200 members who are elected under a system of proportional representation, depending on the population of each canton. Members of both houses serve for four years and only serve as members of Parliament part-time, so-called millet system or citizen legislature. When both houses are in joint session, they are known collectively as the Federal Assembly. Through referendums, citizens may challenge any law passed by Parliament and through initiatives, introduce amendments to the Federal Constitution, thus making Switzerland a direct democracy. The Federal Council constitutes the Federal Government, directs the Federal Administration and serves as collective head of state. It is a collegial body of seven members, elected for a four-year mandate by the Federal Assembly which also exercises oversight over the Council. The President of the Confederation is elected by the Assembly from among the seven members, traditionally in rotation and for a one-year term, the President chairs the government and assumes representative functions. However, the President is a primus inter pares with no additional powers, and remains the head of a department within the administration. The Swiss government has been a coalition of the four major political parties since 1959, each party having a number of seats that roughly reflects its share of electorate and representation in the federal parliament. The classic distribution of two CVP, PDC, two SPS, PSS, two FDP, PRD, and one SVP, UDC as it stood from 1959 to 2003 was known as the magic formula. Following the 2015 Federal Council elections, the seven seats in the Federal Council were distributed as follows. One seat for the Christian Democratic People's Party CVP, PDC, two seats for the Free Democratic Party FDP, PRD, two seats for the Social Democratic Party SPS, PSS, two seats for the Swiss People's Party SVP, UDC. The function of the Federal Supreme Court is to hear appeals against rulings of cantonal or federal courts. The judges are elected by the Federal Assembly for six-year terms. Military in Switzerland 
The Swiss armed forces, including the land forces and the air force, are composed mostly of conscripts, male citizens aged from 20 to 34, in special cases up to 50 years. Being a landlocked country, Switzerland has no navy, however, on lakes bordering neighboring countries, armed military patrol boats are used. Swiss citizens are prohibited from serving in foreign armies, except for the Swiss Guards of the Vatican, or if they are dual citizens of a foreign country and reside there. The structure of the Swiss militia system stipulates that the soldiers keep their army-issued equipment, including all personal weapons, at home. Some organizations and political parties find this practice controversial. Women can serve voluntarily. Men usually receive military conscription orders for training at the age of 18. About two-thirds of the young Swiss are found suited for service, for those found unsuited, various forms of alternative service exist. Annually, approximately 20,000 persons are trained in recruit centers for a duration from 18 to 21 weeks. The reform, Army 21, was adopted by popular vote in 2003, it replaced the previous model, Army 95, reducing the effective from 400,000 to about 200,000. Of those, 120,000 are active in periodic army training and 80,000 are non-training reserves. Overall, three general mobilizations have been declared to ensure the integrity and neutrality of Switzerland. The first one was held on the occasion of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71. The second was in response to the outbreak of the First World War in August 1914. The third mobilization of the army took place in September 1939 in response to the German attack on Poland, Henri Gisson was elected as the general-in-chief. Because of its neutrality policy, the Swiss army does not currently take part in armed conflicts in other countries but is part of some peacekeeping missions around the world. Since 2000 the Armed Force Department has also maintained the Onyx intelligence gathering system to monitor satellite communications. Switzerland decided not to sign the Nuclear Weapon Ban Treaty. Following the end of the Cold War, there have been a number of attempts to curb military activity or even abolish the armed forces altogether. A notable referendum on the subject, launched by an anti-militarist group, was held on 26 November 1989. It was defeated with about two-thirds of the voters against the proposal. A similar referendum called for before but held shortly after the 11th of September attacks in the US, was defeated by over 78% of voters. Gun politics in Switzerland are unique in Europe in that 29% of citizens are legally armed. The large majority of firearms kept at home are issued by the Swiss Army, but ammunition is no longer issued. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button and share. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.